And welcome back to the show. Bronx Works is the lead organization of the Bronx Rental Assistance Network, which has been funded by the New York City Department of Social Services, assisting tenants and small landlords with applying for the Emergency Rental Assistance Program. Now, as of June 1st, 2021, New York State began accepting emergency rent relief requests for tenants who've been adversely affected by COVID-19. Giving us more details, the Director of Legal Services at Bronx Work, Arturo Lopez. And uh, Arturo, glad to have you back here on the show. Oh, thank you uh, for having me back. So it was great to be on. Yeah, this really touches on to a lot of uh, people across the Bronx as well as New York City. Uh, when we look at this rental assistance, given the fact that COVID-19 has rendered so many people unemployed. Uh, so share with us what Bronx Works is doing as the lead organization here. Well, we're both trying to spread the word and knowledge about ERAP and providing direct assistance to the community in preparing applications. now. Uh, you don't actually need uh, someone to assist you. Um, individuals that are tech savvy, you know, can navigate it on their own, that just log on to the website. Um, it can be a little complicated. So in those cases, uh, you can also reach out to our organization for assistance. Yeah. And with the numbers continuing to rise and we know more and more people are staying at home and a lot of people are unemployed and underemployed. How have you crossed your desk in regards to applicants? Well, the, um, so far, uh, Bronx Works has processed about a thousand applications uh, for the Bronx community for for individuals that are facing eviction. As a consortium, it's almost 1,500, um, but that's actually a very small percentage of what we think the numbers should be. We, we, we really need to get the word out there to the community that this assistance is available. And so the assistance is available. And so somebody's saying, listen, I might need some help. What are the qualifications pretty much, uh, as you can tell us, on the front end for somebody who may be seeking assistance? Uh, the qualifications, I mean, we can just break it down really simply. It's just that um, you have some rent arrears, that you owe money, or, and, that the, and that there's a relation to COVID-19. Uh, uh, you know, that can just be the fact that you weren't able to find work, you had health issues yourself. Um, after that, Basically, uh, we would go forward with any application just on the hopes that it would be approved. After that, it's, it's gathering all the evidence, the, the documentation that the rent is owed, um, all that supporting document. You have to work with both the tenant and the landlord to make that a strong application and get that in to the state. Yeah. Are you surprised by the amount of uh, numbers that you've received, seeing over a thousand people that you've actually been able to service? I mean, in the Bronx, uh, knowing that we have such a huge population and many people still not aware of the, uh, of the program. Are you surprised by the numbers that you're seeing? Um, we're, we're surprised that we're not seeing even higher numbers. We, we really, as I said, there is um, more help out there. There's a, a good deal amount of money uh, set aside for this program and we want to see it all go to the community. So we, we'd just like to um, have as many people as possible apply. Yeah. Do you think the challenge is more the fact that many people just simply aren't aware and they're really just trying to rough it out on their own? I think that there are multiple challenges. Um, in the beginning was um, uh, educating the community on the program. Uh, then there were some tech issues. Some of them still linger. Though there were issues with the website um, that uh, you know hopefully are, are mostly resolved on the way to being resolved. Um, and then there's just also the, the familiarity and the understanding of gathering the documents and and what's needed. Um, you know, it can be hard to come up with that evidence that you'll rent if you're renting and don't have a lease, for example, which happens. People rent and don't necessarily have a lease. 
you know, renting an apartment from a landlord and owns a small house, um, may not have a lease, may not have all the, all the receipts. So we can help them um, structure that in a better way. Yeah. We talked about tenants, but talk to me a little bit about landlords. Is there any reprieve out there for them, given the fact that so many of them have been suffering as well with people just simply not paying rent? Well, this, this program is really geared to help both the tenant and the landlord. They really, they have to apply together. And what happens is then that the, the, if the application is approved, the landlord will be reimbursed for, for what's owed so that they will not lose out that money, that, that needed income. And also the tenant will have those arrears erased, will uh, no longer have a case, an eviction case. And part of the process is the landlord agrees to keep the tenant in place for a year. So it would secure that housing for that tenant and help really stabilize this, this housing, uh, housing crisis that we're facing in the Bronx. Yeah, I was talking with some, uh, with some officials recently about this particular program itself, and they said that, well, possibly one of the reasons for a lack of people coming forward is the fact that they actually don't get the money in their pocket. It goes to the landlord uh, in a situation like that. Um, any, any thought with that being a possible deterrent for people to say, listen, you know what? I got my own stuff, you know, and uh, I'll, I'll let this slide. Sure. I mean, I, I can understand how someone might um, have that opinion. What I would say is that um, this program is here to, to help individuals secure housing. And uh, I don't think that's a good thing. I don't think there's a bad thing to having a, a secured place to live. Um, Yes, the program is specifically intended to uh, help you pay rent. So it, it, the money is going to the landlord, you know, but there are also other benefits programs out there that individuals can apply for if they're in need um, that can help them with their own sort of bills for food and living and things like that. Um, ERAP is not a sort of there to fix every problem, but you know, an individual can be assisted with multiple um, applications and processes to try to stabilize their life. Yeah. Well, Arturo, uh, thank you for what you're doing over there. I know a lot of people, uh, if they do about it, would definitely take advantage of it. Hopefully being on the show today, uh, we'll be able to increase some applications and get some people some much needed assistance during some tough times that we've never faced before, but certainly need all the help in being able to get through. Arturo Lopez, our guest here from Bronx Works, thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks again. All righty. Now, listen, if you want more information, visit the website, bronxworks.org. Don't forget about them on social media, also on Instagram and Twitter at Bronx Works. Listen, we got more show. Don't go anywhere. Open continues right after this.